Welcome back, everybody. This is Steve KM9G, and we're looking at the January 17th, 2022 firmware. I can't show you the battery options because who wants to sit here and watch the battery charge and discharge for several hours? What I can do is I can start with option number two in the firmware upgrade list, and this says the parameter adjustment of the gen menu is changed to non-circular, and the large knob is turned left and right to switch. Okay. That doesn't make any sense at all, but I think I might know what they're talking about. First off, we have this button here that's marked Gen on the radio. So I hit Gen, and we're already in the Gen menu. You have to be in like some other menu to be able to hit Gen and switch back to Gen. And then there's nothing to there's nothing to change here with the large knob except for the VFO, which is what you would expect for it to do. So it's changed to non-circular and the large knob is turned. So maybe gen means generic. So like in, in any generic menu that you get into. So in display settings, I turn the large knob. Nope, I turn the small knob over here and it goes all the way around. So you can see it moving in a circle. So that's not it. So the next thing that I would think of is this here. Let me get one that's easier to, to mess with. Radio settings, let's switch down to PTT mode. And if I hit right now, it says toggle. And if I change it, it says normal. And then I can't change it anymore in that direction. It doesn't go in a circle. And I change it this way and it says toggle. And I can't go anymore in that direction. So it only goes one way or the other. Now, if I push this button here, check mark, that moves it up to this location, and then this knob here will turn it to toggle and turn it back to normal and to toggle and to normal. And if I had that thing set in circular configuration, it would go toggle, normal, toggle, normal, toggle, normal, toggle, normal, toggle, normal. I can see why they made that change. This would be the gen menu at this point. There's no, there's no other documentation besides this. I can only assume this is what they're talking about. I hope that helps you out. Take a look at the rest of the channel for more videos coming up on the rest of the firmware update options. I didn't want to do one 45 minute long video with all the updates. I figured I'd give you a couple of digestible small chunks. There's a video right over here that I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome.